Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have a tutorial for you and I made these um, pocket sort of uh, inserts and um, I, I've called it a stackable or a floating um, pocket page and you can use these sort of uh, pockets for all different ways. Uh, so I made these um, so you could use these uh, for your planners, for your journal, to store uh, photos or just um, a way to keep these together and then you can store them and use them when you would like to uh, use them in your projects or to uh, send as gifts and add some goodies in here. Uh, I made these in a couple of different ways so you can decide how you would like to make these uh, stackable uh, pocket pages. Uh, so this is the first one that I made. Um, I love making pockets so it's um, a fun little um, project that I had uh, come up with. And so this one here has uh, three pockets. So you have um, a pocket here in the front and then there is another pocket in here and there is a top loading pocket where you can add your note cards. You could use these uh, for our photos as a photo mat. So you can add a photo here and then you can write what the photo is and date it or you can use these and back two photos. You can add a photo here and a photo here and then you can make a few of these sort of uh, cards out of your paper stash and then just place them in here because I've made it so that there is enough room where you can add a few more um, bulky um, things in here as well if you wanted to. And then there is another pocket here in the front and you can also add the same size uh, photo mat or note card in the front here. And then there's another pocket here if you want to add some tags or smaller pockets, ephemera pieces, uh, a washi samples. Um, so just another little spot there if you wanted to use that. And then over here I punched out two holes. Um, so then you can use this uh, to stack all these sort of pocket uh, inserts and then keep stacking them, which I'll show you uh, in just a second. Um, so that's one of the ones that I made. And uh, you can make these uh, out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper and you can make two of these uh, pockets. But I made my one a little bit shorter in height. So the height of this one is a five and a quarter inches in height. But if you want to make it longer as a six inch height, you can make uh, two of these out of the one 12 by 12 paper. Uh, and, and then the width will stay the same. So this one here is another one I made, a little bit different to this one, um, but it has that extra little pocket as well in the front, but it's on the inside. So this one here has a flip page, whereas this one doesn't. And I decided I'll make this one as um, probably the cover of the stackable mini album or um, stackable pocket pages. Um, I did embellish the front here, so this opens this way and then I've added the little corner pocket to the inside for the tags. And then you have this part here, you, you can journal here, you can add another pocket, uh, you can add an envelope in here as well. Um, you can do whatever you like here um, for this blank page, but it also has the top pocket up here as well. So it, does, um, it m doesn't have this middle pocket. It only has the two pockets with this one. So that's the other way you could uh, make that. And then I did make another one. This one here has that uh, front little corner pocket, has that uh, middle pocket and then the back pocket. And I also made this one as a flip page as well for the pocket on the inside and the top pocket. And then I use just some uh, trim to decorate the part with the holes and then you can stack these up and you can use these sort of binder rings I have these binder rings which are uh, I have and the size that I've got here it's a 25 millimeter in size which I think is a perfect size for the stackable um, pocket pages but you can use the along uh, the larger size too and if you use the larger size you can stack a lot more of these um, pocket pages and all you do is I think you just sort of I think it's, let me step over this one get this one just sort of open out out and then and it sort of will split like that and all you do is just thread each one through 
and then you can have these all stacked together and it's another great way to store your pocket pages and then just uh, close it back up this one's a little bit stiff to close but I should get that in and just grab another one and do the same with the bottom and just thread them all through each of the holes just get them in actually let me just do this one again I want to add the other one in the front I just realized I want this page in the front because I want to make it like an album so that's going to be in the front I might put that next uh, so just wanted to show you how they look once you've got the rings inside um, drawing all the pages together and then we'll do the tutorial so you could also have a go at making these if you would like to make some for yourself or um, give to a friend and this one's a little bit stiff but there we go I got that in so you've got this binding binder ring there you can also use trim and just thread some uh, trim around it and tie knots so you can do that to hold your pages together so this is the front page so it flips open that way with that little pocket and then you've got the top pocket here then that's the next page with the um, front door pocket with the middle pocket and then there is that top pocket this is the next page with that little corner pocket middle pocket top pocket and then that's the other one open it up and you've got that pocket and there's a little tuck pocket and you could just keep stacking them up and then if you want to use these on a project you can just go through whichever page you like to add to your journal or to your planners and just unclip them and take the one that you want to use and take that out and close it back up and then you've got all the rest still all kept together in one um, in the binder rings so I want to show you how to make these I think these are just um just great little lovely pockets so I just get my paper and I did use double sided paper because I want to be able to see the two different patterns uh, on the on the pocket so what I'm going to do I'm going to um, I'll make I'll make it then show you the different ways where you can make it with the flip page or without I'm just going to grab my score tool So I have my uh, paper cut at five and a quarter inches by 12 inches. Um, so you can make it uh, longer if you want it a more of a, a longer um, pocket. So you can just cut it to five and three quarters or six inches or whatever height, as long as your length is a 12 inches. And then you want to just decide which, if you've got double sided paper, if you want this part as your cover, um, which is the flip page so in this case this is going to be my cover you want that facing um, up and we're going to do some score lines and I will put the measurements down below for you for your reference as well so on the 12 inch side you want to score at 3 8 of an inch so 3 8 of an inch I just bring this up in case you're not sure where it is 3 8 of an inch is the little green mark just before the half an inch mark so it's just that little mark and then you score at one inch and one and five eighths of an inch and that mark that one and five eighths of an inch is the next little green mark after the one and a half inch mark so it's the next one over And we'll make another score line at five and a quarter inches and eight and three quarter inches so the score lines were three eighth of an inch one inch one and five eighth of an inch five and a quarter inches eight and three quarter inches My craft room is a real mess at the moment. I've got boxes everywhere because um, we've been moving out of our 
a family home on Thursday to our rental while we'll wait for our new home to be built. So I'm just trying to get this one last project before um, I pack everything. Okay, so now we have all your score lines done. What we're going to do now, that one inch score line, we're going to fold that towards you. And you have that score line over here, which was that three eighth of an inch score line. Let's fold that over. Just, just gently folding that over and then fold it back again, just for now. So that score line is part of with this score line. And what we're going to do next, we're going to uh, go onto this side. We are going to make a cut at an angle. So we're going to create this sort of a cut here. So you grab your trimmer or you can just uh, free cut it with your scissors. And what we'll do here is, actually, yeah, so we're going to cut. Um, I'm going to cut so about halfway down and you're going to cut up and sort of cut it about a quarter of an inch or half an inch in from that score line. So leave about half an inch and half an inch that way. So I'm going to use my trimmer to cut this because I want a nice cut. So let me just do that. Then I can show you how it looks. So you can see I've sort of cut halfway. And so keep that to the side. That's going to create that little corner pocket. And what we'll do next, we're going to bring this score line. We're going to fold it back. And then that score line here, we're going to fold that towards you. And then you'll see now it looks like that. And the reason why we've got that score line, we fold it that way. When you want to open and close your page, it's just easy to, um, it's more flexible to move it around. And what we're, we're going to uh, make a thumb notch now, if you want to create a thumb notch, we're going to create one for the middle part. So I'm going to open that up and we're going to create a thumb notch here. Now you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So let's, let's do that. And that just also, you'll be able to see a bit of the pattern of the back part of the paper. So that's how it looks now. What we'll do now, we'll assemble the top loading pocket at the back first. So let's open it all up. We'll open this side and then you've got a valley fold here. We're going to glue that whole part down, just the valley fold. So don't go past that score line, stay um, inside. And we'll press that down, glue that in. And this will also help with your, um, keep, keep the, part where you're going to punch your hole just gives it more strength so it doesn't tear your paper when you want to turn your pages and you're going to see that this part here hasn't got any glue we're going to now apply glue to the front of that part up to that score line so we'll go and put some glue all the way down to there with and stay in the score line and we'll glue this middle panel at the bottom just a bit of glue down here. And now we're going to bring this over and we're going to press and glue it all down. And now you have yourself a top pocket. And when you look inside, that part that we've glued down is now glued. So that also gives, I've made it so that you've got extra, um, an opening for that part where we've glued there. It makes it easy as well to op uh, take your um, pieces in and out of that pocket. So now at this point, you can just use this as your flip page. And then you can have this little corner piece where you can add that here. Now you can see that this pattern has, um, it's got a sort of directional pattern. So if I was to put it here, it, it might look a little bit 
unusual with that pattern there you can then turn it around this way and then you'll have it um, that way so you have the opposite pattern and you can do that or you can have it on the inside this way even though that's upside down if you're okay with that that's fine you can go that way you could place it on this side if you wanted to do that and go that way it's probably best this way so you can play around with this little corner piece and place it where you like you can even have it on this side that way if you want so it's just that little extra piece for you to have fun and play around with it so i'm going to put mine I'll put mine here because we're going to create that middle pocket so let's put that here so it is a little bit um, if you look at it it sort of sticks up up there we're going to trim that off so you can move this further this way if you wanted a smaller pocket you can go all the way over so just play around with it I'm just going to have mine about here and then I will just trim off that little excess bit in a minute so let's just add some glue. I'm going to add glue to here first. That way I'll know where I want the uh, pocket. And let's just glue. Because I don't want, I want mine just a little bit smaller. So I'm going to turn that over. Oops, it doesn't line up. I'm going to trim this off now. Just do that. So I have my um, I have my little pocket there in the front now, and then you can leave it this way. But to create this extra middle pocket, all I'm going to do is just add glue just to the bottom here of that front flip page and just glue that down and now you have your top pocket up there you have your top loading back pocket and then you have your little front tuck pocket so that's all done and really easy and it just looks so lovely especially when you're using double-sided paper so with this part here to punch the hole, what i done was I created a template so that all of my pages will have the same holes for each one and they're all in line. All i done was I cut a strip of uh, just some scrap paper or cardstock. You want to cut that at three quarter of an inch by five and a quarter inches or whatever height your pocket is going to be. That's the length that you want to cut your um, paper, but cut it at three quarter inches. So it's the same um, same size as this part here. And then what, you, what I've done was I've fold the strip in half, then fold it in half again, and that will just give me a guide as to where I want to place these two circles using my hole punch. And I just sort of go in find the middle and punch it and then the same with that side that sort of just gives me a guide where it's centered I just line it on to the um, part I'm going to create the hole and then just slide that in bring that over so then it'll give me these two holes and it should line up with the other ones that I've um, made as well. So that's how I made these um, stackable pocket pages. And you can still add heaps more in here. I could probably add another four more in here. And then I can just add that to that and then store it, keep it, use it as a mini album, a journal, uh, somewhere to add your journal note cards, um, just another fun little project um, to make and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.